E-World Robot Conference 2025 concluded in Beijing, and this year's conference was larger than life. Over 200 companies were represented, over 100 new robots were unveiled, and the spotlight was firmly on humanoids. For days, crowds moved through massive halls surrounded by walking, talking, and working machines. Some greeted visitors with smiles, others carried objects, danced on stage, or folded laundry. It truly felt like a preview of the future. One of the biggest attractions was Unitree Robotics. Famous for their robotic dogs, introduced the R1 humanoid. Small, approachable, and designed for regular use in the home, the R1 demonstrated smooth motion and mini-task support. Onlookers observed it wave and move naturally, while the G1 model, also on display, aimed at research labs and high-end development. Combined, the two left little doubt that Unitree is all in on both consumer settings and scientific investigation. Next came Fourier Intelligence with their GR3 humanoid. GR3 is not just about getting the job done, it's about building a connection. With expressive eyes and gliding movement, it guided individuals through the booth, answered questions, and even did some light social interaction. Fourier explained that GR3 is intended for care of the elderly, therapy, and rehab. This placed it among the most human robots on the floor, showing that humanoids can be emotional and caring. Paxini Tech stole the performance limelight with Tora One, an entertainment and interaction robot. Tora One danced, responded to music, and performed tactile skills with unexpected finesse. Its performance was evidence enough that humanoids need not be confined to homes and factories. There is a place for them in events, education, and even entertainment industries. Galaxia Dynamics set the bar higher with the R1 Pro, a two-armed humanoid robot intended for industry and the lab. Guests watched it pick up parts with delicacy and build things with precision. Galaxia's message is unmistakable. Humanoids can and will be production line co-workers and research lab assistants, closing the gap between the efficiency of machinery and human-like adaptability. Spirit AI impressed with Moz1, a humanoid built for multitasking in daily life. Moz1 folded laundry, tidied up workspaces, and shifted seamlessly between different household jobs. The robot's adaptability, powered by advanced AI, AI showed how humanoids could soon handle a wide range of chores in real homes. Galbot, on the other hand, showed a humanoid specialized for warehouses and logistics. Its design focused on lifting, stacking, and sorting items. Though less graceful than the social robots, it made a strong statement about practicality. Humanoids aren't only companions, they are strong enough to step into repetitive, physically demanding jobs as well. At the World Robot Conference 2025 in Beijing, the robot Terra L7 stood tall as one of the most impressive humanoids on display. Developed by Xingdong Era, also known as Robot Terra, the L7 immediately caught attention with its height, sturdy frame, and industrial-ready design. Unlike some of the social robots meant for companionship or entertainment, the L7 was built with a clear focus on labor and heavy-duty applications. On the stage, it walked steadily with firm, confident steps, demonstrating balance that permitted it to take weight and pressure with ease. Among its demonstrations was parcel sorting and line work, functions that best demonstrate how humanoids can be plugged directly into factories and warehouses. Engineers noted its structural integrity, noting that the L7 was not just designed to mimic human movement, but to withstand the physical demands of industrial environments. Its actuators and joints permitted it to lift, carry, and set items with a precision that balanced robotic efficiency with human flexibility. Beyond its physical strength, the L7 also possessed AI-driven planning, permitting it to respond in real time to fluctuating tasks and environments. This capacity for adaptability distinguished it as an actual worker robot, capable of replacing or augmenting humans in work that demands stamina and repetitive effort. Visitors noted how its presence felt more like a machine waiting to roll onto an actual production line and less like a display item. To Robotera, the L7 is not just a technical innovation, but a symbol of China's attempt to introduce humanoids into industry and quantity. At WRC 2025, it was clear that the L7 symbolizes a future where humanoid robots do not simply walk among us, but work among us. Among the many exhibitors at World Robot Conference 2025, Engine AI was one of the new entrants aggressively foraying into the humanoid space. Their booth greeted visitors to the newer prototypes of their SA series, including the light SA-02 humanoid, which garnered consistent attention throughout the event. Compared to some of the heavier industrial-grade models, Engine AI's design was centered around efficiency, modularity, and balance between agility and power usage. The SAO2 walked with a lean, athletic build, controlled strides, arm movement, and the dexterity to grasp and manipulate simple objects. Engineers explained that its lightened structure was designed with precision to make the robot safer, more adaptable, and easier to deploy in diverse environments, from research labs to service applications. On the stage, the SAO2 interacted with visitors, taking commands, performing simple cooperative tasks, and showing its ability to recognize individuals and environments via onboard sensors. The modularity allowed for the mounting of different tools or extensions, with future applications ranging from inspection to light industrial assistance. 
What impressed many visitors was Engine AI's emphasis on accessibility. Rather than reveal a humanoid as something in years to come, the company revealed their robots as real and scalable solutions, with the goal of democratizing humanoid technology. With streamlined design lines and responsive AI, the SAO2 felt less like a crude prototype and more like a product on its way to real-world viability. For many, Engine AI's appearance at WRC 2025 showed that China's humanoid competition is not just led by industry leaders like Unitree or UB Tech, but also by new entrants who want to join the competition. The SAO2 and its companions stressed a simple but compelling argument that humanoid robotics will not be dominated by a few makers, but will spread through an exponential multiplication of diverse players competing in pair parallel. At the World Robot Conference 2025, few robots carried as much symbolic weight as the Tiangong 2.0, unveiled by the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center. At the heart of the opening ceremony of the exhibition, this humanoid was not a technological demonstration in itself but a national statement of intent. Towering with a sleek, futuristic build, Tiangong 2.0's lines radiated power and elegance. During real-time demonstrations, it walked steadily down the stage, waved at the audience, and performed controlled exercises that highlighted its agility and balance. Engine Engineers named the robots new actuators and AI systems, which allowed it to recover from falls, learn to navigate new environments, and keep its balance even on rough surfaces. Tiangong 2.0 also featured advanced vision and voice recognition modules, which allowed it to communicate with visitors instinctively. These features cemented its status as more than a metal figure. It was a testing ground for human-robot synergy in industries. What made Tiangong 2.0 unique was the ambition that lay behind it. Instead of being the work of a single firm, it was a collaboration backed by research institutions and the state with the aim of propelling China to the forefront of humanoid robotics. By situating Tiangong 2.0 at the very center of WRC, the message was clear. Humanoids are not just the sharp edge of innovation but a national priority. To visitors, seeing Tiangong 2.0 glide effortlessly down the stage was as much a technical moment of pride as it was a reminder of how fast China was positioning itself as a center for robotics on the global stage. It was not just a prototype, but a symbol of cooperation, optimism, and the conviction that humanoids will be at the center of society within the near future. Kenon launched its X-Man humanoid models, X-Man F1 and X-Man R1, tailored specifically for reality-based applications like bartending and cafe service. Guests were treated to immersive settings. One was a tavern bar setup where a bipedal humanoid mixed whiskey or served popcorn. Another was theater style with X-Man R1 on cue making cocktails. These interactive settings were a demonstration of Kenon's intentional push toward direct deployment. Robots built not to impress with gimmicks but to fill specific niches like hospitality, healthcare, or retail, where tasks can be standardized and precisely plugged into. As CEO Li Tong put it, focus on defined positions like bartenders allows commercialization to accelerate by building on controlled environments. Mid demos of athletic robots and industrial giants, Kenon made an impression for its finesse, meshing intelligence with custom tailored functionality. In those theme bars and cafes, the X Mans were not exhibits, but working partners showing how humanoid robots start to enter our everyday life in service roles that make a difference. Kenon's approach promised a new era where humanoids step confidently off stage and into the spaces where we're accustomed to. This is we're accustomed to. Limex Dynamics Ali. The most exciting reveal at the World Robot Conference 2025 in Beijing was from Limex Dynamics, a rapidly emerging robotics company that's been generating buzz with its studies on advanced mobility. Their humanoid robot, Ollie, attracted crowds the instant it rolled onto the exhibition floor. Unlike most of the smaller service robots that dotted the floor, Ollie was full size, towering over the crowd with a sleek, futuristic body that immediately conveyed strength and versatility. Its creators highlighted Ollie as a general purpose humanoid, able to roam across different environments and adjust to a broad array of tasks. On stage, Oli walked steadily across rough terrain, stooped to pick up objects, and showed the kind of stability and coordination that was previously the exclusive domain of research facilities. Engineers highlighted its dynamic control system, which enables it to recover from slips and remain stable in real time. Its modularity was also showcased during the demos, meaning Oli can be equipped with various end effectors or software modules based on whether it is working in a warehouse, helping out in public spaces, or doing research tasks in labs. What excited many onlookers was not so much the mechanics, but the vision that Limex Dynamics offered. They placed Oli in a future world where humanoids are not single-purpose tools but flexible collaborators, able to be integrated into the mundane world. By demonstrating Demonstrating Ollie performing both precise motions and smooth human-like movements, Limex Dynamics was signaling that they do not view humanoid robotics as specialty experiments, but as core to the future organizational and industrial landscape. For Beijing tourists, Ollie was not merely a technical display, it was an early glimpse of how quickly the distinction between human capability and robotic skill is starting to erode.
UBTech Walker S and Walker S2. At the World Robot Conference 2025, one of the most recognizable names in humanoid robotics, UBTech, made a triumphant return to center stage with its lead robots, the Walker S and the newly updated Walker S2. UBTech has been synonymous with moving humanoids beyond mere demonstrations, and in Beijing their booth reminded visitors how far these robots have come. The Walker S, already famous for its elegant walking and interactive showmanship, moved in small choreographed moves, exhibiting smooth balance, precise gesture, and the confidence to walk around people in obstructions. Standing nearby, the Walker S2 was the next step in UBTech's evolution. Slightly more refined in appearance, it provided greater walking speeds, improved stability on ramps and uneven terrain, and a greater range of upper arm movement. The two robots moved in synchronized choreography, creating the illusion of cooperation between humanoids, a vision that hit the audience with powerful resonance. UBTech engineers explained the two robots are being developed not just for research, but also for service industries, elder care, and integration into smart homes. The S2 in particular boasts upgraded AI modules that enable it to more accurately recognize voices, interpret commands more rapidly, and adapt to changing environments in real time. This enabled it in trials to interact more naturally with observers, greeting them, answering questions, and even performing small assistance tasks. For many of the visitors, UBTech's display was more about refinement, proof that humanoid robots are moving steadily towards the stability, intelligence, and reliability required for use in everyday life. The S and S2 together encapsulated UBTech's vision, a vision of an age when humanoid robots were no longer just innovations but trusted partners and business collaborators in the physical world. Unitree A2 among the wide array of machines exhibited at the World Robot Conference 2025, one of the most popular visitors was not a humanoid robot but a quadruped marvel, the Unitree A2 robot dog. Unitree has built a global reputation for robotic quadrupeds, and the A2 was an advanced step up in design and capability. Sleek, compact, and built with precision actuators, the A2 demonstrated movements so natural that many in the audience compared it to a living being. On stage, it trotted effortlessly, turned direction with ease, and even jumped small hurdles without breaking stride. Engineers explained how the A2 brings high-end perception sensors and an AI-based control system together, allowing it to build a map of its environment in real time and adapt instantly to changes in terrain. Whether it traversed flat exhibition floors or climbed sloping ramps, the A2 demonstrated stable posture, revealing its ability in outdoor and industrial settings. In addition to mobility, Unitree demonstrated the robot's payload carrying, inspection assistant, and as a mobile sensing platform. Its modularity allows it to install cameras, communications gear, or even robotic arms depending on the mission. What drew applause from the audience was its interaction mode. The A2 reacted to simple commands, followed its operator in close proximity, and demonstrated behavior that was natural and intuitive. To Unitree, the A2 is more than a showcase of engineering. It is a demonstration of how robotic dogs are outrunning research videos and lab work and entering real-world applications. From rescue operations to security patrols and even as personal aides, the A2 demonstrates that quadrupeds are capable of getting the job done where wheels and tracks cannot. As the curtains closed on the World Robot Conference 2025 in Beijing, one thing was clear. Humanoid robots are no longer science fiction. They are striding confidently into our world. From heavy-duty industrial behemoths built for heavy-duty work, to dainty companions built to assist in homes, and even performers which entertained the audience, each machine reflected the incredible pace of innovation. The robots are not machines, they are companions that will soon walk, work, and live among us. The show revealed to us how close we are to a world where robotics revolutionizes industry and daily life as well, and with each new model unveiled, that future is a little closer, a little more real. Thanks for joining us for this tour of WRC 2025. If you enjoyed this look into the future, be sure to like, subscribe, and return for more.